Uh, so we start with um, a repeated measure t-test, um, also known as um, uh, dependent samples t-test. This whereby a study is, is conducted using um, the same sample. So usually maybe an intervention, you can test before and after, or you can uh, test with another condition and then test again with another condition. Uh, so, so that is um, dependent t test. Also, you can you can also uh, it's also in the textbook if you read um, some textbook call it uh, meshed meshed samples design or or related something like that. So you if as you read you are going to see different ways that are used depending on the design that is used. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to do the analysis uh, on Excel. So so in this case, so I have two examples here. Uh, so an experiment for developmentally handicapped children. So a sample of children were, uh, was tested before and after the interaction. So you can see that this is a sample, not two. So if there are two samples, it means that it's an independent heat test. The one that I'm going to do in the second section of this video. Uh, you can see that before, let me, let me just, so this just before an intervention and then after an intervention, let's say, um, the development in kept children, nothing happened, and then uh, maybe it was measured out of 10. I don't know how they measured this. Uh, and then this was the score. And then after an intervention, maybe their capabilities, and then these, these were the scores. Um, so we'll be asked to, as usually in, in, in statistics, we are concerned with the testing hypothesis. Um, so test hypothesis at, that there is um, a significant um, difference between the two conditions or before and after uh, that, that's what i mean sometimes the questions can be directional maybe um the, the 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 capabilities of children are likely to improve after the intervention so that will be directional so we can check on that as well so what do you do here uh I'm, I'm, i like what i said earlier that i i'm i'm, I'm assuming that the activated data analysis toolpack. So this is one that you're going to use. So data analysis, and then you can see we have a number of techniques that you can use here, but you have to select the appropriate one. So we drag down, move down, move down. So this is for dependent t-test. T-test paired two samples for means. That's the one that you use, and then you click on OK. And then um, usually it, it doesn't matter much which one do you select, but on Excel usually you select this, the first one and then and then the second one in the second range. But manually as well, if you do that, your answer is going to give a negative T of which is not a big deal. But as you read the textbook, sometimes it's important to 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 say x2 minus x1 so that it gives you maybe if we say there's going to be an increase or maybe it's going to be better but actually it doesn't make a big difference what matters is that is that difference significant because you're testing for, for hypothesis so i'll just check on these ones and you drag down and then you move your cursor to the variable number two so they just call it variable number two. Actually, it's an intervention number two for us. And then click on OK. And then the hypothesis test that there is no significant, um, we also want false fire, so there is no significant uh, difference, even if you have an intervention not. So it's zero. So even if you type zero or, or, or if you leave it, um, so it's either zero or if you leave it, doesn't make a big difference. Um, and then we included labels, it means that we included before and after as in heading. If you don't, if you didn't include it, you, you just start at the number like eight and dragging down. So we included the labels, the, the name of the of the intervention. So like it's saying tested uh, 0 0.05, that's significant level. It means that we're 95% confident that our results are not by chance. And then you click on OK. Uh, so just, to make it look much better and we can trade this. And usually I like to don't look through decimal places, but it depends on the question or if your assessment is saying uh, round off two decimal places, we have to do kind of what I'm doing now. So before you move up, so I'm just doing this so that you can read so you right click 
Um, I don't know if I if you are using a MacBook. I don't know if you guys use right click. I've never used one, um, but yeah. But I don't think there's a big difference. I'm sorry, it's a bit slow down. And then you want to round off this one, so that's number. So it's two decimal places, and then okay. So so what is important here? What we need? What we want? So you can see the degrees of freedom here. So even do it if you do it manually, it's n minus one. So you have ten participants. This is nine. But what is important is for us to to compare. We don't compare like what we're doing manually. So we look at this number, at this value. Is it significant or is it not? Let me just highlight in yellow. And then if it's too tail, you check on this number. Let me just highlight it in. I don't know if it's blue. Some ladies can name it a different color. I just call it blue. So, so these are T statistics. Like what I mean is this minus 2.80, but if we, if we had arranged the scores in a different way, it was going to be just 2.80, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but actually it means that there was an increase. Uh, there's a difference in the mean. You can also see that the mean year for before intervention was 4.8 and then after intervention seven. So, but what matters that is that difference significant? Okay, so we check on if it's a one tail. One tail means that uh, if the hypothesis directional is in, there's going to be an increase in the capabilities of in handicapped children. Um, so it will check on the two on, on the one tail because the question is directional. In that instance, it means that there's a significant difference still because this is less than 0 0.05, okay? So you can say that there is a significant um, uh, increase uh, after an intervention. So that's the conclusion there. And then if it's too tailed, if it, the question just say there's a significant difference between maybe intervention A and intervention B, depending on the question, you also check on the two tailed. So if it's less than um, 0 point, um, they just, we actually we name it 0 0.05. But it's fine if you call it 0 0.05. So this is less than 0 0.05. It means that the E is a significant. If you, if the question is different, you can say there's a significant difference. So when you present your your your, your data to for assessment, you can delete the the ones that you don't like. So if we like the two tailed only, we can actually delete the ones that we don't need. So you only submit. The one that you require. So you don't have to highlight like what I did here is I'm just doing this for the purpose of learning. You can see that uh, this table is in APA format already. So what you do to copy in a Word, Word document, you can highlight like this and then copy. And then open your Word document and then paste there and then you proceed. And then what is important before I forget, you have to follow this step number three of the decision making process so step number one so you so hypothesis testing stating so it's stating hypothesis they say hypotheses so that's step number one and then step number two that is the critical region so we have, if it's manual, so we have it already, the critical region under this this one is 2.26. The one that you obtain at the back of a textbook using the degrees of freedom and the significant level and the tail that is from the question. And then, so this whole calculation is step number three, whereby you do the computation. So don't forget, you must clearly state that. So setting hypothesis where you state the null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, and then the critical region, we have it already here. So this is the, the, the T crit is 2.26, and then the computation whereby we calculate the T value of which T is um, minus 2.80, but yes, in terms of significance, the negative value is almost ignored. And then the the final one, you make a conclusion. So here, since we reject, we fail to reject the hypothesis, we reject the hypothesis and conclude that there is a significant increase after an 